thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be doing a really, really easy pancake recipe in the air fryer. I was making pancakes for the kids tonight and I wanted to try out and see if I could make any in the air fryer. I've looked up other videos too to have like interest in it. And a lot of people say it's really hard to make pancakes in the air fryer. And I didn't, Seem, it didn't seem to be that hard at all to me. But I think one of the tricks to doing this in the air fryer is when I did my Dollar Tree haul, I found these and they're really small. But the one thing that I wanna suggest that you need to do is when you put your cover on, you need to like pull down the sides on top of it because your cover will go flying all over the place and we had a little bit of an accident just before. So make sure you have that fully in there. Um, another thing that I heard while this was in there, it sounded like it was flying around, but you need to be able to have something that you can cook it in. Um, I will try to like experiment and try it with the cover on and then I also will try it with the cover off. So I'll do it both ways to show you guys how to uh, cook them in the air fryer. So if you have any kits that you wanna use for your air fryer, you can use that too. Um, but I found that this is like a perfect size for, I don't know the size of it. I'll, I'll leave it in the description. So I don't know if it looks pretty big on screen, but it's actually um, about the same size as a pancake. So one of the things that you need to do just like anything else that you put in the air fryer is you need to spray your pan just so the pancake doesn't stick. So I'm just gonna do that. You just wanna layer the bottom of your pan. So I'm gonna put the cover on for this time around and then the next one I will not. So, but like I said, make sure you put the cover on all of the way on because Arts kind of flew off and that wasn't good. Okay, so you're gonna put this in the air fryer and then you're gonna set your air fryer to um, 350 for, let's see. Five minutes or four minutes to start and then check it and see if you need to cook it for another minute, but it only took me four minutes to cook this. so. If you can kind of hear a little bit in the air fryer, it's kind of like, sounds like it's flying around, but actually it ended up working and I was really surprised that it was gonna work. So we're gonna come back in four minutes and check it out and go from there. And then we'll try it without the cover on. Okay, it's been four minutes and I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. Uh, and then if I need to cook it a little bit longer, I'll cook it a little bit longer. And I just wanna say I did not preheat my air fryer when I first put the first one in, just so you know, but you can if you would like to, and you can just preheat it for like a minute or two. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it's not fully finished right now, so I'm gonna put it back in there just for a little bit longer. But I wanna give you a little trick that you can do if you are uncomfortable with putting something so light in there. You can use a trivet and you can also get kits. Um, I have everything listed down below and you guys can get a kit. So you can put that right on top of anything that you are cooking with a cover or something you wanna hold down in the air fryer so it doesn't go up into your heating element. But I'm gonna put this back in there for like two minutes. Okay, so now I pull it out. Now it should be done. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like. All right, so what made it easier for me to do was I just took, I also got these at the dollar store, they're just little ones. So I took that and I was able to flip it over and that's what it ends up looking like. All right, so that's the first one. Let's move on to the second one and I'm just gonna try to see what it's gonna do without having a cover on it. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the trivet on top. I'm going to spray my, um, spray the bottom again. And then I'm just gonna add a layer of pancakes. Oh, I forgot to mention, the pancakes that I'm using 
So this is a box pancake that I'm using in the mix that I have mixed up already. I just have a lot mixed because we are making pancakes tonight, but this is what I'm using. And I didn't do anything special with it to make it work or anything with the air fryer. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm gonna put this in the air fryer. I'm gonna put my trivet right on top. And if you want, you can kind of wrap the side around it to kind of hold it in place if you can if you can get it to do that. But I don't know if you use this with one of the other containers um, that you get with the kit. I don't know if you would be able to do it because I think it's bigger than this little container. So this works well. This is tiny enough for you to be able to do that. The containers at Family Dollar or at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know. I, this is the first time that I've ever seen them there, so I almost want to go back and get a couple more just so I have them. But I'm going to put this back in and see what it does without a cover on. I think, actually, I think it turned out better using or without having the cover on. I don't know. It just looks more like a pancake than the other one. And this one seems to be a lot better, so let me show you what this one looks like. It cooks better without a cover, but if you're able to get these little tiny containers, I uh, I would suggest putting the trivet on top to keep it from flying around, um, or put the cover on and then put the trivet. But I just I feel like it worked better without having, you know, the cover on it. So that's pretty much it that I wanted to show you guys today because I thought it would be fun to kind of experiment and see what works and if you guys don't want to pull out a frying pan and start up a pan and you just want to use your air fryer I think this is a way to go to have something different and try something different so hopefully you guys like today's video because this was something quick and easy and simple for only you know cooking for four to five minutes each pancake um, but for us, we use a huge pan and tonight I used the whole package of pancakes for our family. And with these, you can rewash them too and then that just saves. And also, it leaves a really cool indent on there. So if your kids are really into that, I'm going to flip this around and show you. So it kind of leaves like a little indent if you can see that. You can see it better on this one. But that's what it looks like and you could do something fun for your kids with that but that's pretty much where i wanted to show you guys today otherwise don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one